Hey, how you doing everybody? This is John and I'm doing another video. Here we go. It's going to be for the Accurite weather station model number 02099. That's the weather station model number 02099. This is going to be for the battery and the setup. So let's go ahead. Let's get started right away. Make sure that when you're watching this video, if you want to get your stuff together, you're going to need the outdoor sensor, the main unit, and you're going to need your plug. Uh, I highly recommend that you have the unit plugged into an area where you want it to stand, okay? So you're going to need two AA batteries and three AAA batteries. So that's going to be a total of five batteries, okay? Even though that you're going to plug the unit in, it is highly recommended that you have the batteries just in case there's a power outage. That way you can keep the unit working until the power comes back on again. All right, so let's go ahead, let's get started. Let's go ahead and insert the two AA batteries and the outdoor sensor. Okay, and there you go. As you can see, the unit outdoor sensor is working. Okay, as you can see from the flashing light that's over there. Uh, normally, uh, you know, you're gonna put the cover on, but because I'm working with only one hand, just make it easier. But obviously, you know that you need to put this cover on the side over there, okay? So let's go ahead. Let's get through together with the main unit, okay? First of all, you're going to start off with the batteries, okay? All right. As your supplemental power for the unit, okay? So let's go ahead and put that in. Okay, as you can hear, the unit is working, all right? And let's go ahead, let's plug the unit in. And it's going to be right over here. Okay. So, as you can see, all right, normally you're going to put the cover right over here. Okay. But in this case, how are you thinking, well, how am I going to get the wires and the cover on in the same time? Well, you see these two little notches that are down there? You have to run the wire right over there. In the, in the groove so you can able to put the cover back on and close it. All right, so again, I'm not gonna be able to do it because I'm only working with one hand, so we'll just make it a little more easier. I'm sure you'll be able to do that. So we have the unit that's tilted a little bit, okay. Uh, so what we are going to do is we're going to set the time. As you can see, the default time is set at 12 p.m. and then you have the date at 1 1 of 19. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the middle button. Okay, where you see the little setting and you press the middle button. For a few minutes. Okay, and it says it's on. Okay. Uh, now we are going to change the time. The time currently is 4.55. You hit the settings bar to save it. The minutes will come on. We go to 4.55 p.m. Hit settings to save it. Now the date comes on. The current month is November right now. Okay, I saved it. It is November the 1st. And it's going to be 21. I hit save. Okay. Whoops. I do want Fahrenheit. No, I want it on. Okay. Okay. 
And there we go. We have the unit is correctly set up. Okay. So we have the outdoor temperature, the correction, the uh, outdoor temperature, right? And the indoor temperature, and we have the humidity and what the weather is like outside. Once you get the outdoor sensor placed in, it should correctly adjust itself and um, you'll start getting the correct barometer. It takes a little while for this unit I would say uh, in a couple of minutes for it to start to calibrate, all right? And then we got the correct time and the year, day, and month, all right? And we also have the correct moon phase. Um, this unit was very easy to set up, so it wasn't really that bad. So, hey, like I said, this unit was very nice, very accurate. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, setup video. Uh, for the Accurate Weather Station model number 02099. And you guys have a great day. Please check out my playlist and take care. Bye.